Hello, welcome back to this video series on Composer. Okay, in the last video I showed you how to create this table, which will contain all your content. We set up a header and a footer image. And in the center, we're going to start entering our content. Now, obviously the easiest thing to do is enter text. So for example, hello, this is my first website. Okay, what we can do with this text is if we highlight it, we can change the text to any of these down here. So by default it's times. Arial is often a popular one to use on a website. You see that's changed it. You can make it bold. You can make it larger or smaller. You can change the color, which if you click on this little box here, let's make it burgundy, red. Okay. And as you can see, we can also change the alignment. Currently that's aligned to the left. We can center it or right align it. Let's pretend it's a title and we're going to center that. So we'll change these to capitals. Okay, now let's suppose you wanted to insert that image, that photo image that I'd upload to the images folder earlier. Go to insert image, locate the image, photo, open. Alternate text. Okay. That inserts the image into the um, cursor position. You can change the alignment to left or right. I'm going to have it left. Now I'm going to insert some text. Okay, by default the text is added at the base of the photo you might wish to have it at the top of the photo to do that you need to change the image properties so right click the image down this list is image properties go to the appearance tab where it says align text to image by default at the bottom change that to at the top okay and that moves the text to the top of the image. You'll also note the text is tight against the edge of the image. To add a margin, again, go to image properties, appearance, spacing. Let's have a 10 pixel spacing between the left and right. Okay, that inserts a neater looking margin there now. Again, you can format this text you can make it bold, you can change the color. Okay, now you can change the font. We'll go for Arial again. Okay, as such, I'm going to put that back to black. Okay. Something else you can do is also insert a table into a table. So for instance, let's suppose you want to insert a table here. Go to table, insert table. I'm good to make this two columns by three rows. Okay. I'm going to increase the size. So if I click on the table icon, Table tab, increase the width to 300 pixels. Change the borders, spacings and padding to zero. Okay. Okay, in fact, I think I want that a little larger. What I'm going to do is going to move my cursor over this little checkbox there. Hold down my left mouse key and drag it to the size I want. So that looks 
about right. And this column here, I want this to be much slimmer, about 50 pixels. What I'm going to do is, you see in this top bar here, again, move the cursor over the line so it turns to a double arrow. Hold down the left mouse key and move it to the size you require. Let's say 50 or thereabouts. Okay, and that resizes that box. Now in there, I'm going to insert an image and insert a checkbox. I don't yet have a checkbox in my image folder, but I've got one I can use. So I'm just going to my image folder again, which is located in there, in images. And let's drag in this checkbox. Okay. Now I can insert that image. There it is. Open. Let's call that tick. Okay. And I want to copy that into there and there as well. So I'm going to highlight, right click, copy. Go to that cell, right click, paste. And the cell below, right click, paste. That's pasted those three checkboxes into the three cells. I want to center those. So I'm going to highlight all three cells by holding down the left mouse key and dragging over the cells. Click the center alignment and that centers the three checkboxes. Then I want to insert some description into the adjacent cells. So for instance, this is point number one. This is point number two and number three. Okay, I'm happy with that so far. So let's save that. Remember to save your work as you go along. You don't want your computer to crash. Once it's saved, if you click on the browse icon, what that does, it loads up your web browser with the web page you've designed in it. And this is what it will look like when it goes live. Okay, so we've got the footer and the header and our content there, as you saw us design earlier. Let's close that down and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.